Hello friends, welcome back. Today, we are heading off for an exciting family trip to Goa. Dadi and Dada have come to visit us from Lucknow. And we thought Goa would be the perfect family getaway from Hyderabad. We landed at Manohar International Airport, Goa. We clicked a few pictures at the airport, capturing the start of our adventure. The drive to our resort was beautiful. Sometimes it rained and other time the weather was clear, offering us a gorgeous view of the lush Goan landscapes. Since the resort was quite far from the airport, it was already dark when we arrived. But the moment we entered our rooms, we felt right at home. The rooms were spacious, comfortable and even had a personal garden. After settling and dropping off our luggage, we headed for dinner. The next morning, we woke up early and discovered the beach just a two-minute walk from our resort. It was absolutely stunning, clean, serene and we had the whole place to ourselves. It really felt like our own private beach. After having fun in the water, we returned to the resort for breakfast, energizing ourselves for a full day of exploring North Goa. Our first stop was Candelum Beach, a peaceful and popular beach known for its golden sands. From there, we went to Agoda Fort. One of the most iconic forts in Goa built in the 17th century by the Portuguese to guard against Dutch and Maratha invasions. The fort also has a lighthouse that offers beautiful views of the Arabian Sea. we visited Lower Simcarium Fort, which is a part of the larger Agoda Fort complex. It's located right by the sea and the views were stunning. It 
was quite sunny, we quenched our thirst with fresh coconut water. Our journey continued to Kolwa Beach, a much quieter beach known for its soft white sand. We loved the peaceful vibe there. After that, we made our way to Anjuna Beach, which is famous for its vibrant flea market and bohemian atmosphere. We had some delicious pineapple from a local vendor and my grandma even did some shopping. Finally, we headed to, to Chapora Fort, a place famous by the movie Dil Chata Hai. The climb to the fort wasn't easy, with plenty of stairs, but once we reached the top, the panoramic view of the ocean was breathtaking. From there, we went to Wakatawar Beach, where we soaked in the last bit of the sun before heading back to our resort for dinner. We ended the night by playing a few fun games together as a family. And that's how we spent our first day exploring North Goa. I'll see you all in the next video for our experience in South Goa. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on our adventures.